All right guys, how's it going? And welcome. Today, we're gonna be hanging out at Pitch at this rest bar. Restaurant, oh, restaurant and bar. All right, yeah, sorry. My English is so good sometimes. So the place is called Pitch. It's a restaurant, it's a bar, and the food is phenomenal. In fact, we're gonna find out all right now together. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, quick caveat for today's episode. Again, if I haven't mentioned it already, I apologize for the sound. I think the sound's gonna be kind of crappy today um, because I, I, don't, I didn't bring my microphone. I kind of left my microphone like an idiot. So I really, so this is, if the sound quality is not as good as it normally is or should be, now you know why and the importance of a microphone for all you other video creators out there, all right? There's all kinds of stuff on my vlog. You always learn it, no matter what, okay? Microphone, extremely important. You excited? Let's get some to eat. All right. So we're just here checking out the restaurant. And here's uh, the back. You got barbecue set up here. Um, here at nighttime, you know, they have like little light bulbs that light up. Um, it gets real festive. You know, they have a bunch of people that come out here, um, like bands all the time. So they have like Cuban bands that come out here. You know, they, they were really talking up the Cuban bands. Anyways, and the Cuban music. And so, yeah, that's what goes on back here. So as a matter of fact, the stage is right there, as you guys can see. And um, and then that's it's, you know the reason that they have all the tables and, and everything set up the way it is now is just because it's daytime, it's still early. It's more like a nighttime place. And um, what was I saying? So yeah, and um, oh yeah, and it's about the rain. That's why. <laughs> but regardless, um, so this place gets popping at night. There's a lot of places like this all around uh, Merida, and um, depending on you know where you go and where they are, uh, just depends on the food, the drinks, the theme, and so on and so forth. But yeah, this is a great, great place. Um, I think we're gonna be checking out some food and some drinks. I hope. And uh, I'm gonna take it from there. All right. Check this out. I just had to show you. Even the bathrooms here are cool. So look, even this whole thing is like one giant piece of rock. I wanna say marble, but it's not marble. This is like one <clears throat> giant rock. And then look, look at the fixtures here. So how you turn on the water when you get here is like, you see here? And then, I don't know if you guys can see the whole thing there, but look. Cool, right? You get the soap here. Whatever. I think it's cool.
10 of these before I can really know how to think. So yeah. that's what happened. I didn't have I'd say you need about 20 before you can She just said it's uh, what was it? a bit made from uh, pumpkin seeds. Yeah. It's, it's phenomenal. I have no it's idea. It's really good. This is spicy. They must have put a habanero in it. But it's a very traditional Yucatecan appetizer dip. Thank you so much, man. Gracias, gracias. Muy amable. Look at that. That looks awesome. Uh, it's longaniza, which is uh, sausage. So it looks good. Oh, I've seen this in the store. I know what this is. This is longaniza from Valladolid, which is a See. town not far from here. Well, about two hours in Yucatan. That, you know, everybody's always goes all the Yucatecans that go to Valladolid, they're like, you have, they always bring back the longaniza, which is like, you know, of course, the, like a sausage, right? If you don't know what longaniza is. But it has a specific taste. It's kind of like a smoky sausage. It's actually really good. And they gotta have her around today. <laughs> because usually, my explanations are, no, oh, it's good, it's good. <laughs> This is really good. It was a lot more better than I expected. I see why she took it out of the casing though, because it was hard to bite through, but whatever. I'm still keeping it in the casing. It's still good. <laughs> I like the casing. But this is really good. I've, I've had this before somewhere. What's it called again? Saritas. Saritas. There's a huge Lebanese community here, okay. and in Mexico. Okay. So there's a big migration. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Some of the biggest businessmen. Okay, okay. Oh, one thing I learned was, like, for example, the Tacos Apple store, you know, that's supposed to be, right, from um, from the Middle East, right, when they put all the meat on the thing. Like, I forgot what it's called. What's it called? Uh, the gyro? Yeah, like a gyro, you know, like the whole gyro thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's called something else, but... I suck at this, but but it's the same thing. It's the same thing that they do in the Middle East. So when the Lebanese moved out here, um, they brought that. They bring hummus. They love hummus out here. Um, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's several Lebanese restaurants here. Yeah, yeah. A really good one is Sika. Shout okay. out to Sika. They're my they're my they're my buds, and they have great food. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like stuff in there. Oh, no. Yeah, it's like stuff like Look at this. So this is smoked marlin with uh, a bunch of acid in there, like uh, local oranges, right? Sour oranges yeah. and, uh, and a bunch of other awesome stuff. Like, uh, as you can, you can see, the, what are they called? Uh, Radishes, radishes, and cilantro, and all that. And then, uh, yeah, it just looks phenomenal. You want to take some pictures, or? Uh -huh. we go. What was that? Oh, we, oh, you, oh, you were taking a picture. Right now. That's fine. That's I fine. thought you were. I thought you were posting it. I'm sorry. No, I was just getting it ready. But no, that's fine. These Marlin uh, tacos. They look phenomenal. Marlin. You know, I think I can, I can get used to uh, this food vlogging thing. Huh? Mm -hmm. Crypto. What's this crypto stuff? Politics. What? Mm, that's nice. Double yeah. thumbs up because my thumb is using it. So we just had a floor tomorrow, literally. This is a pico de gallo traditional, but with piña. It's a variation of the house. This is a salsa of chile banero, chile chicatic, asado, and naranja. Yeah. Ah, it's Marlin. I see it on the banero. It's Marlin. Sí, Marlin. Marlin. Yeah, the English is Marlin, yeah. Bueno, hay que, le pueden llamar pez vela, ¿no? Pez vela. De media crema, con eh, recado negro, como el que lleva oh, okay. relleno negro. Sí. Para que les guste, acompaña bien algo. Gracias. Gracias. 
like that uh, the yellow negro stuff. But it has cream in it. These are all like salsas. Maybe I'll try it with uh, a chip. Right, right. Which one do you want to try first? Try that one first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This does not even remotely resemble the flavor of what it looks like. I can't even see what it is. I want to say cheesy, but it's not cheesy. It's like almost all the aftertaste you get from cheese. Not, not really. Acid. Spicy. Freaking delicious. I can, That's because it's creamy. Yeah, yeah. yeah So you get that that cheesiness from the cream. The cream, yeah. Here, okay. Estos son los de camarón, eh, queso relleno de camarón. Wow. Eh, pues, digamos, tú se utiliza lo que viene siendo la receta de los, de los del queso relleno, nada más que hacemos una interpretación de ella con la alcohol que trae el tradicional alcohol que traes. Primero se pone la tortilla, se le pone un poco de col, los camarones se saltan con la salsa de tomate que lleva, eh, alfalfarra, eh, este de todo, ya que se saltea todo eso, ya se le pone sobre la tortilla. Y el queso, el principal queso de bola, pues lo que se hace, pues lo hacemos un crocante, hacemos un tostón, y es lo que lleva. Ahora sí que prácticamente es diferente consistencia, pero es el mismo sabor, es lo mismo, es lo mismo, es los ingredientes, y es la interpretación de este queso. Bueno, aprovecho. Gracias. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe there's some more high-end It's not even early. I mean, it's like 130 pesos. That's cheap. Hola. Hola. Look at this. Super phenomenal. I, I definitely recommend it. For real. Food is well done. Everything is well done. The drinks are great. The food is on another level. I love it. I mean, for real. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm brutally honest. I'll tell you straight up if it's all right, if it's okay, if it's good. This is really good. Everything so far has been beyond amazing. And uh, yeah. And uh, I was just like kind of saying to her, hey, it's, this is kind of like a high-end restaurant. And she's like, no, it's just like kind of typical. As you guys know, I need to get out more, so, uh, yeah. Yes. So this is typical. This back, back home, this would be, everything we had here was like over 100 bucks. Easy. Oh, by the way. Wait, here? No, 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 no. Oh, in the States, in the States, getting okay. something like that. So each the even, is about six dollars here. Look at that. So each one of these things, and this is like shrimp, you know, we got marlin, you know, we got like a bunch of really, you know, look at this, even the beer is like nice and fancy, yeah. home brewed, whatever this is. Look at that.
and everything. Oh my gosh, seriously? Holy crap. That was, that was, that was a lot of food. Actually. That was so amazing. I'm really, really considering uh, being becoming a food blogger for real. Uh, why not? Gym vlogging and, uh, and yeah, that's what she said. So we're gonna have some dessert too. We we're just informed. We're gonna have a brownie, which is very typical of the Yucatecan people. Um, they invented the brownie. Um, we're the ones that added the pot to the brownies, but here is where they invented the. <laughs> no, but but actually the chocolate's from here, you know. So maybe they did invent the brownie, you know. And I'm, even though I'm talking shit, you know, we can look it up in the. Historical database and uh, first brownie, first you know, <laughs> created by the Aztecs, you know, or the Mayan people. Okay, so here's, here's here. Let's try. All right. Okay. Let's try. This is Yucateca. Yucateca in Spanish means like, like stubborn, like hard head. So they, they oh. actually a lot of people from all other parts of Mexico call them Yucatecans. They call them Yucatecos because sometimes they can be a little hard headed. And no wonder I fit in so well here. Yeah. <laughs> So this is yeah, literally hard headed. The hard headed. Yeah. Yucateca. 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 Salud. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta admit that. 
guys I really hope you guys enjoyed that um, we had a wonderful wonderful time here at this restaurant bellies are full very happy very satisfied Wow um, I'm definitely gonna be coming out here again I'm definitely recommending this place to you guys and I hope you guys uh, come check it out sometime so all right without that with all that being said thanks again for joining me today and um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed today's video I'll see you guys tomorrow Peace.